This short video is going to go through some of the advanced features of Hot Potatoes when creating a crossword. You need to get to the stage where you've created your crossword. So you've entered your words, you've made it into a grid, you've added your clues on the add clues, and then OK. Now just before you export, which is on the file option, so you could export for printing, um, what you need to do is firstly go to options, then configure output. On this area you get the options to change some of the the things including the appearance and whether you want to change the title or the instructions. So if we firstly go to instructions you can see here that at the moment the subtitle is just crossword but you can change that and also there's generic instructions so complete the crossword then click on check your answer. Now if you wanted to change those wordings here is the place to do it. Prompts and feedback these are generic but again you can change those if you'd like. The other two main ones that are useful to know about are the appearance. So if you need to change the font for any reason or the size of the font, you can do that there. Um, you can also put in a background picture if suitable and you can change the colours. So if I wanted to change the background colour, I'd click there and I want to change that to green and press OK. Then it changes the whole background to green. Um, and you can do that as you wish and you can preview it to see if you like it. The other main thing you can do is add a timer. So if you wanted to set a time limit for this exercise and say that the students have only got 20 minutes or we could change that to 30 minutes to do the crossword depending on how hard you deem it to be you can do that and again you can set a message that comes up when their time is over so you know you might want to say something along the lines of time's up and um, please have a go and see if you can complete this in the set amount of time. So once you've made those changes, um, just click OK. Now those changes are already saved, so this time when I go to File and I want to create a web page, so I'll create a web page in a standard format, save it to my desktop for a minute so you can see it. Then I want to view the exercise in my browser, so I will do that. And you can see now that it's changed to green and I have a timer at the top, just here. So if I'd wanted to change this, I could have done, um, and same with the subheading and the other answers. So that's some of the advanced features within Hot Potatoes to make it look a little bit more interesting.